Yo guys, so I've been playing with this really cool plugin called Brush Glow by Pixel Film Studios, and it's a really cool effect where you see those dancing, glowing brushes move around the scenes and interact with the subjects in a video. I'm sure you've seen tons of videos that have that effect all over YouTube and Instagram, and I've always wanted to learn how to do that. And I found out that you can, thanks to the good people at Pixel Film Studios, who's actually sponsoring this episode, by the way. Thanks for that. So we're gonna go into Final Cut Pro X, use the Brush Glow plugin, and I'm gonna show you how easily you can create this effect. Cool. Okay, here we go. So this is a sequence that I did using the Brush Glow plugin. Uh, here it is real quick. It's pretty cool that it traces around the camera, around the A. There's a little lightning effect, lines effect, tracing around. Now you might be thinking, whoa, hold on, Sid. You didn't use After Effects? And I'm like, no, I didn't use After Effects because I'm not really good at After Effects. I used Final Cut Pro X. And you're like, what? Final Cut Pro X? Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. I don't know where I was going with that. So pretty cool effect. It really makes your videos pop and it's actually really easy to do. And so let me show you how to do just that. So I'm just gonna open up a new project so we can start all over. We're just gonna type in brush glow effect. Took my time with that. I'm gonna hit okay. And uh, we're gonna use that same video sequence that I just made. And so we're just gonna try to add those glowing brushes throughout this sequence and really make this video pop. So once you've installed the Brush Glow plugin, you wanna to go to your title generator, which is this icon over here, and you wanna hover down to where it says Pixel Film Brush Glow, just under generators. And over here will pop up different options for you to use depending on the type of footage that you have. So for this instance, I'm using 4K footage. So I'm going to select the 4K option. I'm going to drag it over my sequence. And uh, let's just start from there. Okay, we're just gonna zoom in. Very cool. Okay, so as I'm scrubbing through, you don't really see anything and you're probably thinking, man, you are such a joke. I am out of here. And I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. I've got money. And you're like, okay, I'm listening. So to add a glowing brush, all you have to do is simply click on the mouse, hold, and really trace wherever you want. But before we do that, just look at your options over here. Here you see draw mode. This says frame by frame, which is what we want because we want to animate frame by frame. Down over here, you see brush controls. So you can control the size of the brush, the opacity, the feathering of it. Here are your eraser controls. And so if you mess up, you can erase certain parts of your brush. Over here in the glow controls, you can choose the color of the brush, the glow amount, and so on and so forth. And you can pretty much play around with it and fine tune the brush to your liking, but we're just gonna stick with the default settings and we're just gonna start drawing. So the first thing I'd like to do is just scrub through the clip and see if any ideas pop up. So what I wanna do is that I wanna draw brushes going around the camera and as it goes around again, it'll go faster and faster and faster. You'll see what I mean in a second. So let's just go ahead and start drawing. I'm gonna start with this corner over here because it looks like a nice starting point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click and hold and then I'm just gonna draw. Cool, so that is our first drawing in our first frame. And so the next thing we wanna do is move to the next frame. So in order to do that, go ahead and press the right arrow key on the keyboard, and that'll move you to the next frame. And there you can continue drawing the brush. So let's go ahead and do that. Probably right over here, cool. Move on to the next frame. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna keep on doing this, but you kinda get the point. And so I'm just going to fast forward this little sequence and that way uh, you don't waste your time. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you do mess up and you want to clear the frame, all you have to do is go to the right panel and click on clear current frame and that will erase all the animations you made in that frame. But if you made a mistake in one part of your drawing, like say for example, I kind of went off skew off the lens and I just want to erase this part of the brush, all you have to do is press and hold command on the keyboard, erase that part of the brush and you're done. All right, moving on. Okay, so we've made our first loop around the camera and now we're going to animate our brushes going faster. Okay, now we've made our second loop and so now we're going to animate our brush even faster. Okay, cool, awesome. Let's go ahead and see what that clip looks like. Let's go ahead and trim that, uh, that layer over here before it moves on to the next part of the clip. Nice. So see how it slowly got faster and faster before it moves on to the next part of the clip? That's cool. 
Okay, so say that you wanna carry on this animation to the next scene. So what I wanna do is that I want to continue this trace and have it go across here and just shoot off frame. Yeah, let's do that. So let's see what that looks like. <laughs> cool. So all together, you have the green brush going around. Boom, that's cool. Okay, so say that you want to add another animation on top of an animation. Well, you can totally do that. All you have to do is go to the Brush Globe plugin and this drag and drop. So let's go ahead and see what other animations we can do in this clip. So let's just say, uh, maybe we can do something with the lens. Uh, maybe I wanna draw little spirals on the lens. So let's go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and pick a different color. So let's go ahead and pick something menacing, a menacing color like orange. So what I wanna do is that I wanna see a slow fade of the spiral forming, and as it gets brighter, it'll also fade away. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and start with our brush size. So we're gonna start with our smallest number, which is number one. Of course, that's debatable. Oh yeah, also make sure to click on the layer that you're going to be drawing on. So let's go ahead and start with our first spiral. You can barely see it, but it's right over there. And let's go on to the next frame by pressing the right arrow key on the keyboard. And now we're going to increase our brush size to two. I'm going to try. And you kind of see what I'm doing over here. So let's go ahead and fast forward because I don't want to waste your time. Okay, so I have messed up. Uh, I don't want to do a spiral anymore. I want to do something else. And so if you want to clear all your animations, uh, go ahead and click the option clear canvas and that will clear everything in this layer over here. Okay, let's start over. Uh, okay, cool. Let's play it back. Nice. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, so say that I'm happy with all of these. If you want to save your animations, you got to make sure to click Save Canvas on each of the layers. So I haven't done that yet because I'm silly. So we're going to do that right now. So Save Canvas. Cool. Uh, so make sure to do that for all the other brush layers that you do. But uh, so far, that looks pretty cool. Cool. Now, obviously this is a quick and dirty lesson into animating these brushes, but you kind of get the idea. But obviously you can get super creative with it. You can draw fire, you can draw people, smiley faces, lyrics, really just whatever you want. So it just depends on how creative you want to be and what story you want to tell. But that my friends is how you easily draw these cool glowing brushes. Well, really cool effect in my opinion, and I think a really cool way to make your video stand out. Now, just like with any other plugin, I probably wouldn't use it for everything, but it's definitely a unique and fresh way to tell a story. All right, well, big thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check out their Brush Glow plugin, then definitely check out the link below. They also have a ton of other plugins that are super easy to use. I personally have used their plugins long before they reach out to me. In fact, I made my intro bumper using plugins from Pixel Film Studios because, well, it was pretty easy. And so if you wanna check out all the other cool things that they do, then definitely check out the link below. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and bell buttons down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.